Hi, welcome back to Heels in Business. We finally have our visas. <laughs> Very pleased about that. Now, in the last video, I mentioned that we were actually now deciding between Cali's South Bay area versus Las Vegas, Nevada. And we have finally made a decision and we are moving to Las Vegas. And the primary reason being money. In this video, I plan to walk you through the various elements we considered when weighing up the South Bay area in Cali versus Las Vegas, Nevada. But first, if you've been following our journey, please don't forget to subscribe. And for those of you that are completely new to the channel, please go watch the other videos in the series. I would like to think things are just about getting interesting now and we plan to continue sharing our journey. And in particular, when we finally do get to Las Vegas, the difference of living in Las Vegas, Nevada compared to living in the UK. Now onto this video. We actually took a fair amount of time to really consider living in Cali versus Las Vegas. It wasn't just an overnight decision. And for this video, I'm going to break it down into three key areas of income and tax implications, cost of living and quality of life. When comparing the South Bay area of Cali to Las Vegas, the first thing I have to start off with is that we are comparing two very different places in terms of lifestyle. And if money was literally no object, we would have definitely picked California. This leads to the first point I will cover, which is income. Now, it, well, obviously, but maybe not to some, your income can be affected by the location you're in. Um, typically in London, in England, London, you will get a higher salary for living in London versus up north, but that's not always the case. And one of the implications I needed to consider with living in Las Vegas over California would be the effect on my, on my salary. And I would, I am expecting a lower salary to be in Las Vegas now. Now, doing some research online, typically going from California to Las Vegas, you can expect about an 18% lower salary in Las Vegas. Now, your initial thought would be, well, okay, why would you accept a lower salary? Well, the reason being that although you are taking a lower salary, you could actually be financially better off. To give a tangible example of a role similar to mine, in California, let's say you would expect a salary of $236,000 per year. That would be around $193,000 in Las Vegas when we're taking into consideration an 18% lower salary. In terms of take home, that means about 14,000 per month in California versus 13,000 in Las Vegas per month for those respective salaries. And that, you know, that's around 11,000, 11, $1,000 dollars per month difference. Now, in my case, I negotiated a difference of 10% between my California salary and the Las Vegas salary. So, Again, taking the previous example of 236,000 in California, that meant around 212,000 in Las Vegas. In terms of take home, that actually meant that the take home per month was very similar, pretty much the same, around 14,000 per month. So you might be thinking, hey, wait a minute, higher salary in California, lower salary in Las Vegas, how can they be paying around the same? Well, this is because California has additional state income tax. And unlike the UK, in the US, your tax liability is dependent on what state you're in. So your total tax liability. So actually, in some states, you don't have to pay this additional income tax. Thank you, America. Based on the income examples I gave of the 236 in California versus the 212 in Las Vegas, this means an effective tax rate of around 29% in California versus 21% in Las Vegas. So you can see straight away where that difference comes simply from the additional tax you have to pay in California. Just as an extra comparison, if you take my salary in the UK, which is around $20,000 less, I would be paying around 41% in tax. So a lot more here in the UK. 
but this video is not about comparing the UK to the US. I will save that for another video. So to summarize, just taking income and the tax implications into consideration, I am better off in the UK. UK in the USA. I'm not better off in the UK in that example. But just to point out, when I done this calculation personally for us, I took into consideration our total household income. And this was from salaried earnings, um, rental income, property, and also using the joint filing for married couples that you can do in the US, something you can't do in the UK actually. Um, so all things considered, we are definitely better off in Las Vegas. Now on to cost of living. And the main part I'm going to concentrate on for this bit is rental. Before I get into the numbers, the first thing I'm going to say is that in reality, we cannot really afford to live in the Bay Area. And what I mean by that is, yes, we could afford our bills, we could go out and eat, but we certainly wouldn't be able to maintain the standard of living that we have here in the UK. We would absolutely have to adjust our way of living. Now to give you an example, and we will share this on the screen for you so you can see exactly what we found when we were searching online. But in California, we was looking for a free bed townhome. So for my people in the UK, that is a terraced house. And a free bed townhome in California in the area that we was looking in was around $4,000. So you could say anything from three eight to four and a half thousand dollars per month for something that was around 1400 square foot, um, a parking space, maybe two parking spaces um, in the areas that we were looking. Now, in comparison, in Las Vegas, in the areas that we're looking at, we are looking for a four bedroom, two storey um, drive, garage, much larger place with pool area, larger back garden, typically around two and a half square foot, even to like three and a half thousand square foot for about two thousand dollars two and a half to three thousand really depending on how luxurious of a house you want and i would also say in las vegas you are getting a far more modern home um, probably because it's a lot newer built houses in las vegas but definitely more for your money and when we looked at this for us going from what we're used to living in the uk california would be a downgrade in terms of our home but I would say Las Vegas would be an upgrade. I certainly don't have a pool now. Now, considering other factors when you think about cost of living, if we take fuel costs as an example, I believe in California, it's around three and a half dollars per gallon versus say two and a half dollars per gallon in Vegas. These are approximates, um, but just to give you an idea. In addition, grocery shopping is also cheaper and eating out in Vegas is cheaper than California, typically. And if you do some searches online, you will see that they estimate that it's about 40% cheaper in terms of the cost of living in Vegas versus California. So if you think about the things that we were considering over the last couple of months, if you take into consideration the total amount of income that we retain per month, in addition to the cost of living and the what we can afford to live in in terms of the the rental that we can have in Las Vegas, you can see how it's definitely tipping in the favor of Vegas right now. But not everything is about money. And this is where me and my husband would definitely pay more to live somewhere we prefer. And this is ultimately where we started to think, okay, well, what's the quality of life difference? And that's where we really assessed, okay, what is it that we want in an area that we, we would choose to go? And for us, California has always been somewhere we have really liked. Um, we, we spent two weeks traveling down the coast of California and absolutely loved it. It really suits us in terms of how green it is, the weather, and, and it was instantly somewhere we thought, yes, we can live here. Las Vegas, on the other hand, and actually we've been there lots of times, lots of holidays there, we do really like it, but in a context of a tourist, we like to go there for holiday and never really considered living there until now. That being said, we still really try to think about, okay, so we're now not, we are now considering not going to California and thinking about Vegas. Let's really think about what's important to both of us where, in where we choose to live. 
and we thought about things like weather. We want somewhere that is generally warm, hot most of the year, a place that we can go to parks, hike, um, biking, especially biking for my husband because he's into mountain biking. What else? Um, being able to have access to good restaurants, coffee shops, decent gym. So these are the things that we thought, okay, this is what this, whatever, where, whatever area we go to, it must have most of these things. And yeah, we just sat down and really thought of the pros and cons of both. And one thing I have to mention, and it's really, especially this last year through the pandemic, we really understand now the importance of having an outdoors lifestyle and somewhere that's not dependent on shops and restaurants being open during winter to distract you from the fact that that's the only place you can go and visit, see your friends and hang out. We really just want to be somewhere where we can just enjoy natural things, you know, go to a national park, go to the beach, do things outdoors without being restricted because of the weather. Now, on to the pros and cons of California. So, like I mentioned, we thought about what we want in a place. And when we started considering California, there were lots of pros. As, as I mentioned before, we know we like California. It's green, it's great for mountain biking, especially for my husband. It's got the great weather all year round that would suit us, in addition to beaches, wine country, lots of things that would be great for us. And yeah, and oh, and another thing with California, it has lots of areas where you can live in a place and literally just walk to restaurants, bars and coffee shops. And that was a huge plus and something that we actually really like about the place we're living in the UK right now. Now, in terms of the like, negatives, the cons for California, I would definitely say the cost of living is probably the single most, the, the, the single factor that affects the quality of life. And what I mean by that is the ability to go out and do things and even to the point of where we're living, because for me, obviously, I'm not a US citizen. I haven't had friends and family in the US. And we really need to consider when they do come and visit. And with California, with the place being smaller, we probably wouldn't be able to accommodate that as well. In addition to the housing, I would say uh, the risk of fires in California and I guess the other thing I've heard about is that lots of people seem to be leaving California. So I imagine that can't be a good sign at all. Now on to the pros and cons of Las Vegas. Now when I talk about Las Vegas, I'm talking about Las Vegas area in general, including the town of Henderson. And when it comes to the positives, we, we did appreciate that for the most part, we would get what we want. Generally, the weather is well, the, be the web is definitely better than UK. We would have access to parks, we'd be able to go hiking. Uh, my husband can still go biking, I can go biking. Um, and there's still good restaurants there. What else with Las Vegas? I'm trying to think here. Oh, I know, come to me now. The place that we can afford, and it is, is actually what was the negative in California. With Vegas, obviously we can afford a larger place. So when I think about my friends and family, I would have space for them to stay. So that's a huge plus in terms of California, um, Las Vegas for us. In addition, we would have a pool, a barbecue area, something that we're not used to here in the UK and certainly something I wouldn't have in California. Now, what was interesting when I was reeling off the positives for Las Vegas, I realized that it actually was a lot harder for me to talk through that. When I was talking about Cali, it was so natural because the positives were at the forefront of my mind, whereas with Las Vegas, I really had to think about it. Interesting. But it did remind me of something else. With the home, we are considering the fact that we can create a home gym, something that we've always wanted. So I do want to add that as another positive, um, that we could possibly do a home gym quite relevant in this pandemic at the moment. So that would be good. In terms of the kind of negatives for Las Vegas for us, I would say, um, whilst we say the weather would be great for us or better than what we have in the UK, I do think it's probably a bit too hot in the summer and a bit too cold in the winter th than what we would like. The scenery also for us, I love Las Vegas to visit and every time I've been, I love Red Rock Canyon or Death Valley. I find it incredibly amazing to look at. That being said, it's not somewhere that I thought, it's the scenery that I would want to live in. I'm much more of a 
like green forest type person or even the beach I would love to live near by the beach as well and lastly in terms of like the negatives with Las Vegas we it seems like a place that you need to drive and it was one of the things that we really liked about California that you could pick a place where you could walk everywhere and with Vegas we're getting the impression that you would pretty much need your car to get everywhere so that's not so great however all things considered we really like I said, we've taken into consideration our income, the cost of living, the place. Vegas still meets a lot of our requirements. So we are going with Vegas. Um, that is our choice. And we are excited. I am genuinely very excited about it. And we're taking it as a learning opportunity. Whilst it may have not been the place we, we initially envisioned going, we are really open-minded. We might love it for we know. But also, we will use that first year in the US to go and visit other places because we might find that there's somewhere else that we really like and prefer. It may not be even California, as an example. So we're excited and we will use the next year to learn. I've just realized I've been saying it wrong. So one thing I'm going to have to definitely learn is how to say Las Vegas the right way. I just don't get it. You spell it Las Vegas. Someone will have to explain to me the history of that and why you pronounce it Las Vegas. It will take me some time. Anyway, thank you for watching Heels in Business. If you've made it to the end of the video, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. And also for any Americans out there or any UK or anyone else that's moved to America, please comment below because I would love to know where your favorite place is in America.